Do you need to get a contest giveaway up on your website quickly? Well, keep watching. In this video, I'll walk you through how you can set up a contest giveaway on your WordPress website, and we'll get it running with Raffle Press Lite. And then I'll show you some amazing features that the pro version has. So if you're ready, let's get started. So the first thing we wanna do is we want to install Ravel Press Lite onto our website. So to do that, we'll head over to our WordPress dashboard and we want to go to plugins, add new. In the search area, we want to look for Ravel Press and this is the one we want. So let's go ahead and install it. And then once we install it, we also want to click activate to get it started. Now the light version allows you to create and launch a campaign, but there are some limited features in it, but you'll still be able to do a contest giveaway with just the light version. So it takes us to this dashboard where we can start. You can watch the video here to get going again, but I'll be showing you how to do this. So you can either go here or if you come back to it, then I'll show you what happens when you're in your dashboard and how to get to that. So say you come back to it, you just want to scroll all the way down over on the left, look for raffle press, and then we'll click add new. So we'll create our first giveaway. We want to give it a name and then you can select a giveaway template. And this just sets up a lot of the items for you. You see the pro version has several more templates to choose from. And we'll do the classic giveaway for the light version. Great. Now this is what we have to work with. We can click on any of these boxes and change this. And this will be the title of the prize. This is also the description that everybody will see. And one of the things about a giveaway on your site, a lot of people they'll use it for things like growing their email list or increasing social engagement, maybe on your social profile site or getting more traffic or really just getting the word out, especially if you've just launched a site, this is a great way to do that. I want to tell you that picking the prize is really crucial to the success of your site. In other words, you don't want to pick something like an iPad giveaway if you run something like a dog training site because you're not going to attract dog lovers or people who need training for their dogs. Instead, you're simply going to attract people who want an iPad. So be very critical on what type of prize you wanna give away for your site. So we've named all that. And you see down here, you can select an image that is for the pro feature. And you'll see some highlighted areas that are a little grayed out, so to speak, or a little dimmer. Those are the pro features that you have. So scrolling down, there are login with Facebook. That is a pro feature, but you want to use your email. And what this does is basically everybody who comes to it, they need to log in with something. And logging in with their email address will tie them to that and that just decreases spam and spam bots just hammering away at this contest. So you do want to have that. Over here, we want to set up when the giveaway starts and ends. So we're gonna go ahead and select it for today. And you'll wanna give your time enough for people to enter the giveaway, but you don't want it to go for too long that they forget about it. So just for this, I'll give it about nine days. And again, with the pro feature, you have a few extra settings, like you can select the exact date and time here, and then you could also set up the time zone for you. So that looks good here. And then we want to go to actions, and this is the power of the Raffle Press giveaway. This is where we add, what is our goal? What are we trying to get people to do on our site? For every action that we do, we can just click on that, and then we can assign it a value, like how many points do they get when they do each action? And you can change the title here. And again, some of these items are for pro. In the Facebook URL, you wanna put the URL that you want them to visit. And that one looks good. So we can go back to actions to add more. Here you want to add the username for your Twitter account. And, and let's also do Instagram. And let's go back and set up our Pinterest profile, we also have that. So like this is perfect timing because we've started many of these social channels and we want to grow those channels. Maybe that's what you wanna do as well. Now you see scrolling down here, YouTube and joining an email list. Those are the pro versions and I'll show you what that looks like in a minute. And then you see some more social engagement that you can do here. And then down here you have a couple of extra things where you can ask them to enter a page. We're going to come over here and say, no, we don't want that. But just to show you, there's a couple more options. 
So we've got four items and four ways that they can enter, and that looks pretty good there. Now let's go down under design. Under the pro version, you can do more designing of the header and background colors, background image, things like that. So let's go to settings for a few of the setup for this. Under general, this is the name that we gave it. There are a few pro items here. You can limit to three signups per IP address. If you don't want people to continue to sign up for it. And then you can either choose to show a raffle press link. And then if you are an affiliate, you can add your affiliate link here to get a commission for that. And then things like email verification, success tracking, success redirect, and social logons. Those are in the pro version. Social logon is simply to allow them to log on instead of an email, they can log on with their Facebook profile. But clicking on the giveaway rules, you'll want to set up some rules. For instance, what are the age limits? Are there any age limits? What are country or state specific limitations for this? You'll want to make sure you add that in here. And what there is, is you can generate rules here. So if you enter all of this information, the sponsor, location, eligible locations, minimum age, and then you click generate rules, it'll give the rules down here that you can go through and adjust as you need to. So that all looks pretty good. And this giveaway is ready to go. So we're going to click save. And now we need to get it onto our website. So let's close this out. And then once we close it out under the overview area, we see that we have one giveaway going and it's started because I set it to start now it tells me when it ends. And then we can see when the users or entries start coming. If we wanted to, we could hover over this and end this now. We'll want to get a few entries first, but now we need to put it on our site and we'll do that next. Let's go to pages. You can put this in a widget area. So you can do this on a sidebar. If you want, you can put this on a page or a post. I'm going to do this on a page. So I'm going to go to pages, add new, and I'm going to give it a title under the ad block. You can either find Wrathful press in the dropdown or you can search for it. Sometimes it's easier to search for it if you haven't used it yet. We'll click raffle press. And now we need to select the giveaway. I'm going to select tools for the garden as my giveaway. And now that brings it in really nicely. And of course, you could also do things to the page if you wanted, like add an image here. The pro version brings an image into the actual giveaway, but you could add an image here if you want to really showcase what you're giving away add some text, whatever else you want to do. So now that this is ready, let's go ahead and click publish and we'll see what it looks like on the site. Let's view page and scrolling down. This is a great looking giveaway. So now people can enter your giveaway on your site and this is all for the light version. So that is the light version. And what I want to do now is show you some of the features that the pro version does for you as well. And don't forget to check out the description below for a discount where you can get the pro version for a discount as well. So now I've added a the pro version of this and let's show you some of the differences in the giveaway. So now with the giveaway, I can go over here and select an image. I can add an image right here if I want to showcase what we're giving away. And then that will bring it in like that. And over here, we can select specific times. If we wanted everything to start and end, say at eight o'clock in the morning, then we can do that. And then we can also choose the time zone that I want this all to run in. I am in the Eastern time zone, so I will go with New York. And then under actions, we can now do join an email newsletter, which is hugely popular with giveaways. And we can make that one of our top ones. So I can have them join an email newsletter. And then from the integrations area, you can add an integration here, and then that will connect to your email list, which is great. Under actions, you also have some of the social engagement items like referring a friend, which is hugely important because it, personal referrals just seem to work really, really well. And you could also add if you have a specific video or a specific Instagram post that you're trying to get out, then you can have them view that. And then under design, you can design this whole thing a little bit differently. If you want to change out the font for this, you can do that and pick the one that works best for your website. You can also change out the button colors for 
this area and choose one that is great and complementary to your site. You can also choose to do background color or even a background image to really make it pop. The other area is under settings where we were showing the email verification. So this is great if you want the contestant to first confirm their email address. In other words, without this, they could type in something completely random and it would still count. So you could have them confirm their email so they would get a link and you see this is the message that they would get. So with turning email verification on, this is really powerful because it makes them go to their actual email address, click on the confirmation link before they can enter. Under success tracking, you can add your Google Analytics items here to show conversions and how many times people go to that. And then under success redirect, this is a great one because once they enter the giveaway, then you could redirect them, say, to a thank you page on your website or somewhere else that's important to you. And then again, with the social logins, you can allow them to log on with Facebook instead of email. So RafflePress is a powerful and easy way to get a contest giveaway going on your WordPress website. So let me know in the comments below, which was your favorite feature of RafflePress? And thanks for watching. Did you learn something from today's video? If so, subscribe to our YouTube channel and we'll send more helpful tips to help you manage your WordPress website. And thanks for watching.